Welcome to another video from Christian Musician Training Resource. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of a 5-1 chord progression to add harmony to a song without changing the character of the song. And the song I'm going to use for this demonstration is Jesus at the Center by Israel Houghton. The part of the song where I'm going to use the 5-1-4 chord progression is the verse. And the verse starts with an A major triad, and then it goes to a B minor seventh, then it back to that A with an alternate bass with C sharp in the bass, and then it goes to D, and then back to A, and then to an E suspended. And where I'm going to add the 514 is in that space between the A with the C sharp in the bass and the D uh, major triad. And before we begin with the 514, let's uh, briefly go over the scale for the song, uh, which will help identify th the bass notes for the 514 chord progression. This song is in the key of A major, and the scale for the key of A major is A is the 1, B is the 2, C sharp is the 3, D is the 4, E is the 5, F sharp is the 6, G sharp is the 7, and then back to A. So in this scale, the 5, 1, 4 would be E to A, and then back to D. The chord progression for the 5, 1, 4 would be an E minor 7th chord that then goes to an A chord and then to a D major. Again. Now let's listen to that um, inserted into the harmony of the song. see it added additional harmony in that space between those two chords without altering the character of the song. And you can use this example in other songs um, where there's space between chords and you want to pull chords off the circle of fourths to insert into the song. I hope this has been helpful in understanding how uh, you can use a 5-1 chord progression to uh, add harmony to a song without changing its character. Uh, and you can find additional information about chords and scales and chord progressions uh, from my other YouTube videos and song tutorials. And uh, if this tutorial has helped you, then uh, please help me by subscribing to my site, uh, commenting and clicking the like button. Uh, stay tuned for other examples and thanks for watching. 